Ginger Jester. Wowie. It's been a while. Six months, I think. Uh, so last I left off, uh, I was trying to fight Sif. And he was defeating me by attacking my computer directly. Now since then, I've, uh, man, this... This was one of the first games I started playing. I started Let's Trying, or Let's Playing. So that means that since I last played, <clears throat> I've had Creed help me out. And he he basically just made everything about my Let's Plays better. Everything. <laughs> Audio, video, uh, input, everything. Um, and... Uh, Also, I've had a Windows 10 update, because I was using Windows 7, um, and that fixed a lot of things that was wrong with my computer. Like, I think that I basically just had a bunch of stuff just not updating, just outdated, and I was just unaware, and uh, basically updating to Windows 10 just made everything work again. Um... So here's hoping that, uh, you know, between the the big Preed overhaul and uh, the Windows 10 update, here's hoping that I now have immunity to Sif's first attack, which deals damage direct directly to my PC and causes it to uh, shut down. Ah. <sighs> Also, this is my first time playing Dark Souls in, like I said, about six months. So this is going to be rough. Um, gold Pine Resin. Okay. This is the Grass Crest Shield, I believe. Um, I don't think I got it on video, but uh, I basically said that, you know, my I'm wearing defensive gear. But I'm still dying in like two hits. So I was like, why am I even wearing defensive gear then? Like I might as well just equip Thief's gear. So then I'll be lightweight. And I'll be able to dodge more. Because like my defense isn't helping me anyway. So if it's not helping me, why am I impairing myself? <clears throat> okay, some coffee for good luck. Uh, here goes nothing. Come on, computer. Stay on. Oh, stayed on so far. Huh? Okay. I have got to close this gap. Huh? Okay. And he's after running away again. Okay. Oh, this, this feels so much better after playing Sekiro. Or Sekiro. Feels so much better. Feels right. The use item button is... Use item button. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay. Have a little orange juice. Ah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Didn't mean to say KKK. I'm not... I'm not a member. Promise. I just thought it was really okay. Not that the KKK is okay. Oh god. I'm just digging myself into a deeper hole. Okay, roll towards it. Slash him in the face. Bad dog. I mean, good dog, really, because he's guarding his master's grave. Not that I would have figured that out if it wasn't for Vati Vidya and Keith Ballard. Ah, uh, no. All right. How about some lightning blade? Ah! He didn't like it. He didn't like my lightning blade. Alright, do something so I can chug. Alright. Ha! Ah. Come on, dog. Uh. Oh, I just chugged for a second and I was like, no, don't shut down. 
I wonder what it is about Sif specifically that made my computer shut down. Yeah, we both have big swords and we can swing around. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was in the process of drinking my Estes flask while standing underneath him. Ha, ah, just another like two hits and I would have gotten them. Oh, well, poo-poo. <sighs> Level 38, eh? Uh. Is this the one where your health is lowered? If you're, uh, kindled? Let's find out. I have 10 SS flasks. First hollowing. Yes. Humanity restored. Okay. That did nothing. Okay. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm just a very human looking person. Um. Do I have any more fancy doodles to put on my sword? I do not. Okay. Uh... Hmm. It appears as though I don't have very much of anything. <laughs> Owl's ring and wolf ring. Uh, if I'm wearing all this stuff, you know, boost poise. Owl's ring boosts maximum quick load. Is that just so I can swing my sword, basically? Yep. That's a hefty sword. Because I was thinking, you know, I, I took off my heavy armor, so why would I need Owl's ring? Well, you see, it's because I'm a weakling. And I'm swinging a giant... Bastard sword. Is it a bastard sword? Oh, I guess technically it's a claymore. This is Vihanda. But a bastard sword is a one and a half hand sword, basically. It's what Jon Snow uses, ironically, because he is a bastard. Literally wielding a bastard sword. Um. But when I found that, that out, uh, I thought it was kind of interesting because, you know, he's... It's basically implying that he has one and a half parents. Like, he only has one legitimate parent. And that makes him a bastard. A bastard of the North. Uh, so one and a half hand swords are swords that are heavier than one-handed swords, but lighter than two-handed swords. So it's meant to be used back and forth. And uh, you can see Jon Snow doing that in the show um, because you know he'll he'll be wielding it one-handed and sometimes he'll wheel it two-handed so it's, it's meant to go either way uh, whereas I think this is just a hefty hefty sword It's meant to be two-handed because it's heavy it's meant to be uh, have crushing power as well that's why it has a little spike on it probably for piercing armor is where you swing it. There's no meant for stabbing. But I'm just a strong dude. All right, Sif. Round. We'll we'll start round counts over. Ah, uh, press dodge. <laughs> what? Okay, that was that was a wrong reaction. Wrong reaction. Huh? Okay, okay. Stabby time. I missed. All right. Wolf does not appreciate stabby time. Oh. Oh, he's Wolf. Ooh, Sekiro! Hey, you, you stay up there where you can't get me and where I can get you. That's that's cool. I'm a fan of that. Damn it. <laughs> he came back down. Now I can't get him. I got stuck on the rocks. Debris. 
I'm still stuck on the rocks debris. Okay. Yeah. Chug. Chug a dug. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, queen! Yes. Alright. Get right in that pooter. Right in the pooter. It's not the pooter, but you know. You attack my pewter, I I attack your pooter. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, damn it. Badly timed. Huh? Okay. Stabby doo. And some more stabby doo. Right in the neck. Okay. Back up, get my stamina back. Alright, that's good. That was the worst thing you could have done. So you gave me space when I wanted space. If you had pressed the attack, I'd probably be dead right now. Ugh. No. Oh. Damn it! No! Ah! I didn't know he was doing a second move. Also, my cat walked underneath me and distracted me by putting her tail on my leg. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she walked she walked past me to get to the window and she started looking out the window and she was in like full concentration mode and I smacked her on the butt not like rough or anything but you know just like pat and she jumped like a foot in the air <laughs> alright we're even now I'm just, I'm so glad to not be playing Sekiro anymore. So glad to be back to a good From Software game. Even though people will swear that Sekiro is the best game, like, I, nope, I will protest against you. Sekiro is awful. Those people are infatuated with shiny and new and slicey dicey. But it's not a good game. <laughs> Like, I had a conversation on Discord with uh, some people uh, because they mentioned that From Software's next game is uh, supposed to be open world. And I was like, that sounds like an awful idea because Sekiro was too open. Like, I was going off doing side quest stuff because I thought I was just exploring. But uh, reality is I was doing the main quest line stuff before I, I knew that I was doing the main quest line stuff. Like, that's, that's stupid. That's broken. That's bad game design. Like, I ended up getting things being like, okay, what was this for? Why do I want this? And, uh, again, people on Discord were, were just defending it. Like, you're, you're not an employee of the company. You don't have to defend the game. Like, what I'm saying is fact. I, I did it. And people were like, no, you can't do that. It's like, well, I, I have it on video, so yes, I can. <laughs> All right, this is not going well. What? All right, Chug, don't jump away, damn it. Damn it. He heard me. It's like, I'm going to double do what you don't want me to do. Back at you. All right, now the fight begins. Damn it. I dodged too soon. Because I saw it coming. He's got a little bit of a wind-up to it. poo doo doo But you know what? After playing Sekiro, this ain't nothing. I don't even care. Because at least I know what the fuck is going on. It's not just a nonsense nightmare of inconsistencies and poor player feedback. And, uh... No explaining of mechanics. Because I still don't know how to deflect in Sekiro. I, I don't. <laughs> they taught me how, and then I started doing it. Because everyone in every comment section of every Sekiro video is like, You're not deflecting enough. Not on my videos, because no one comments on those. But uh, in other people's videos, everyone says that you need to deflect more. So I was like, okay, I'll start deflecting. Didn't make a difference. I was deflecting stuff and still getting hurt. 
I thought I was doing it successfully. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing is I don't know. They don't teach you the the signs to look out for if you do it right or wrong. So maybe I never once had a successful deflect thing. I don't know. I thought I was doing it right. Thank you. <laughs> Every time the game stutters like that during this boss fight, Makes me nervous. Yes, stay up there. No. Where are you going? Where are you going, puppers? Where are you going? Come back. Come back. You want some kibbles and bitch? You want some kibbles and bitch? All right. Chug. Damn it. Too early again. That's the move that killed me last time. Ah, he nicked me. Ah. Shit. I should just have my shield up all the time. Yeah. Okay, get that health back. Get that stabby. Oh, what you doing? Get some distance, that's what you're doing. Damn it. Should have done anything there. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Eh. Alright, whew. Open there for a second. Cha. Yeah. What? Ah, shit. Okay. Chug. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, stay up there. Yes. Yes, dog, Slay. Come on, stamina. Huh? Ah. Uh. Okay. Come at me, dog. Come on. Oh. I did it! Yeah! 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 I did it! And it only took me 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually my first time legitimately beating Sif. Because the first time I played this game, he terrified me. So I, I found out that you can cheese him by jumping up on the rocks and shooting him with arrows. So that's what I did. <laughs> But not this time. All right. Yeah. And I get this item. The hornet ring. And is there a thing that happens here? No, that's how you, you find Sif. All right. So with the Covenant of Artorius, I can traverse the abyss. Oh, Good, now I can fight the four kings, which is not a very good boss fight, but, you know. It's the first Dark Souls game. What do you expect? Perfection? A lot of people think it is per perfection. I disagree. It's really good. It's better than Sekiro. That's for sure. I mean, what isn't? Uh... Soul of Sif. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, you can also use the Soul of Sif to make a two-handed sword, maybe. Let's see. Oh, 
I can't warp yet. I can't warp yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is not good. Alright. Here we go. Going for a jog. <laughs> oh. You didn't like me playing with the corpse of your friend? Too fucking bad! Now play with both your corpses! Get the fuck out of here! I <laughs> uh, missed you, ragdoll. <sighs> Undead perish. Tink, 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 tink. He's a deep tinker. That's an odd ember you have there. Ah, I know what you were thinking, but I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. That's cool, Andre. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 ha, 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 uh, shit. <laughs> okay, um, I don't remember who to give the boss souls to. Jitty titties. Be careful out there. No, you! You be careful out there! <laughs> he told me to be careful! Alright, well, uh, back to... Firelink Shrine, question mark. Huh. Hang on a sec. Shouldn't this be open? How do I open this? Still closed. Still closed. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Sigmar. Still closed. Still closed. Mmm. Shit, I I really thought I opened this. Okay, well that's a whole lot of game left. I thought I was close to being done. Man, I... I remember doing that, though. Man, th th this is really tripping me out now. I have, like, false memories of playing through Sen's Fortress during this Let's Play. And, like, fighting the, the snake dudes. And... Uh, like, getting lost. And using the boulder trap, too break down the, the wall and like I remember all that how did it not happen I gotta check my videos okay it is called Firelink Shrine I wasn't sure if that was in this game or in Dark Souls 2 
don't think we've met. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. We're both undead. Well, perhaps we can help one another. <laughs> it's a pretty ominous laugh for someone who wants to help me. Oh, hello. I'm considering a change of location. I have a rather pressing matter to attend to up above. That keeper has served me well, but enough with her. <laughs> hmm. So this guy. Oh, I'm cons I th this is the guy that I found in a cage. I, I'm pretty sure I found him in a cage, but he's located inside of a cage before the uh, bell gargoyles. And uh, anyone who has played the game before knows that he's sitting here staring at this shrine keeper or fire keeper. Uh, and he just said, the keeper has served me well, but enough of her. As in, he's going to kill her. If I don't do something about it. So. Sir uh, Lautrec of Karim. I'm going to do something about it. Bye. And now I think if I rest here... He should have some drops here for me? Maybe? No, this game isn't that kind? Okay. Well, I tried. Now to the abyss. Is this the right way? It's, yes, kind of. Um, this is the long way, though. That's the... That's the, uh, the normal route. I go through here. I just remembered I didn't beat uh, Quaylag. I didn't beat her. Huh. And the undead dragon is still alive, eh? Huh. About that. Huh. Can't die. We gonna be here a while. Big old waste of time. <sighs> yes, vomit. Mmm, wonderful. I have a request. Uh, could you do anything else? Hmm. Yeah, 
I, he's, he's not worth the effort. Probably gives you a lot of souls, but... He's not even particularly difficult, like he, he just does the breath attack from what I can see. He probably has a swipe move or something too, but uh... Ah... Uh, but uh... Yeah, I need to refresh my memory. Where does this elevator lead to? Better question, where is the elevator? There it is. Um... But yeah, he's not necessarily that difficult. It's just, it's a lot of finagling. It's like you gotta bait out his breath attack and run in and attack and run away before he gets another breath attack out. And, you know, it's just, uh, I'm not in the mood. Where's this going? Oh, it's the basin. Yeah, dark root basin. All right. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. Um, it might be a little shorter than I intended because I'm going to fast forward through a lot of the travel time and stuff. But uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be trying to locate and kill the four kings. And that's going to suck. <laughs> so tune in next time because I'm going to be suffering for your pleasure. Yay.